Hello, I am the Ronin Bald, and this is a follow-up video to my other video. Click here if you haven't seen it. Uh, YouTube lies. We've worked with your MCN to include you in the partner program, which uh, they haven't. And also, in which I asked, what the hell does this mean? Because it's very complex and you haven't explained it. And before we get sidetracked, I just want to say, represent Croyuz up in the house, Ronin Pawn up here! So if you are part of an MCN, then you started to get a little blue bar across the top of your dashboard recently telling you, uh, you need to review and agree to some new terms that we've got. Don't worry, it's probably all cool. And you might have gotten an email like I did from your MCN telling you, hey, there's going to be some new terms coming down like moments before they came down and then saying, we want to make sure that you understand all the terms, which is what Curse, Union for Gamers, told me and then failed entirely to tell me what it was about. As content creators, we're just coming into the YouTube Partner Program so that we can be under the same terms that everyone else is already under. And when YouTube makes changes to those terms, we won't all be in different wheelhouses. What they're doing is bringing us all into the YouTube Partner Program so that when they do update the terms, everyone gets the same deal from the outset. And what that relates to right now, especially those of us who use third-party music or create cover songs on YouTube, is that They've got some new terms over here. If you cover a song in one of your videos and YouTube has an agreement with that person, then you can now share in revenue with them. So that is a term that's changed in the YouTube Partner Program, and it's been there, or at least been in testing, for a while now. In the comments, I'm hearing up to and over a year, but it hasn't applied to MCNs, because we're in a different wheelhouse. Get us all together, put us all in the YouTube Partner Program, now we can all benefit from these new agreements. That's the idea anyway, and there were a lot of reasons to be suspect and suspicious as quickly as this thing came down and as little as anyone was talking about it, especially when YouTube and your MCN are saying, yeah, just go ahead and sign this up to, you know, like a 30 page long contract in addition to the agreement that you already have with your MCN. Don't worry about it, it's cool, man, we looked at it. Some of you, however, including Sheikah's Clouds, who let me know this in the comments section shortly after the video posted, are in the full screen MCN. And full screen had this article right here posted within 24 hours of the whole YouTube Partner Program thing coming up, which actually explains what's going on. Wow, that would have been cool to happen for my MCN or from YouTube itself. And in fact, this article adds information that wasn't here before, where it says, please note that you must accept these terms to continue earning revenue on YouTube. YouTube didn't say that. In fact, in my first video, I made the assumption that we didn't have to because YouTube hadn't said that, and my MCN hadn't said that, and nobody was threatening that. And then, Sheikah's Clouds provided me with this link, and I went, holy crap, I've got to tell people, if you don't accept, you can't monetize your videos anymore. Now that hasn't happened yet. We're still in the period where we've still got the blue bar above our dashboards telling us to please come over and agree to this thing and not mentioning, by the way, if you don't at some point in the future, you won't be able to make any money on YouTube. Did I, did I forget to mention that? I'm such a coward. But there's one party here who isn't a coward, clearly, and that is the full screen network. I am actually kind of impressed. I was in communication with my MCN curse, Union for Gamers, just 24 hours ago, who's no longer my MCN. I'm no longer with an MCN because of this issue. But even then, just 24 hours ago, they still weren't able to come on the record and say outright anything. Listen, at this time, I'm nearly sure it is mandatory to accept. It has now been a week that this giant network and that your networks, your MCNs, have had time to communicate directly with YouTube and get their questions answered so that they can then answer your questions Nobody else can say anything, except apparently full screen, who did their homework. Good work, Howard Pinsky, product marketing manager. And in fact, look, this article was posted December 3rd, 2015. It may have indeed been up before any of us saw that blue bar. You guys are, you guys are, hmm, full screen, huh? I'm free. I'm free. I've left the curse network over this thing. Full screen. Call me. Now I've got something very important that I want to share with you, a thought, an idea for people who may be in MCNs and maybe in contracts they don't want to be in anymore. I think I might have figured a way out for you. But before we get there, I just want to reiterate, as far as I can tell, this whole YouTube partner program MCN merger thing is not a threat to your channel. 
It may be a threat to the MCNs in the long run, but as far as content creators go, we're all just going to be in the same group now. And to be honest with you, I like that more. If YouTube decides to pass down terms that are good, then they're good for everyone. And if YouTube decides to include terms that are bad, well, then they've got a hundred million man online riot on their hands because we're all under the same terms. So this isn't a threat. It's not a bad thing. You can agree to it, but don't click that button just yet. There's more. Before I get into how this might be your best chance at getting out of the contract that you're locked into with your MCN, if you don't want to be there anymore, does anybody mind if I get a little bit self-involved for just, just, just for a minute? You see this? This is, this, I took this screenshot, I created this screenshot of my video showing 506 public views at the same time as in my analytics, my real time, it was showing over there, you'll see estimated views 1400. Now that is nothing unfamiliar to us. We see that all the time. The way that YouTube does the public view count is it holds some of them back as it generates, as it double checks them. YouTube wants to make sure that you're not using a botnet, that you haven't paid somebody, and there are places online where you can do this, to send a bunch of zombie computers to artificially generate hits on your page, which, Honestly, eh, why not? I mean, it's just marketing at this point. You know, you can either buy advertising through YouTube and pay them or pay somebody else to artificially inflate your views. Anyway, <laughs> what happened, ladies and gentlemen, to the view counts on this video is that it went up to 500 and some, and then it stopped, and it froze, and it stayed there for six, eight, maybe 12 hours and didn't move. Then the views went down to 184, as the real-time analytics were showing me over 1,900 views being generated in primarily the first 24 hours on the video. Then it stayed there at 184 views for almost an entire day, and then it started to trickle back up incredibly slowly. I have, in reality, at least 3,000 and some views. And right now, on YouTube, what's showing? 2,600. I have lost views, and I don't know if they're coming back or not, and I don't know if I'm going to get paid for them, and I have never seen this behavior before where view counts go backwards. Coincidence? Maybe. Maybe more of these. Maybe more of these, YouTube, huh? Wink? Wink and a nod? Nudges as good to a blind bat as a screw you, you motherfuckers. <laughs> if I blur it and bleep it. <laughs> okay, rant over. Let's talk about your legal position with your MCN. If you're locked into a contract that you don't want to be in anymore, I think this is the moment where you can legally leave, and it's not even going to be considered you leaving. It's going to be considered your MCN in breach of your contract. At a certain unspecified date in the future, there's going to be a cutoff. And on that cutoff day, if you have not signed up to the YouTube Partner Program, your channel will no longer be able to monetize videos. On that day, your MCN will be in breach of their contract with you. You signed up with them so that they would handle the monetization of the videos. In most cases, the MCN has turned off YouTube's ads, the ads that YouTube sells and then puts in the videos so that they can insert the ads that they or a parent company has sold to uh, companies that want to advertise and put those on your channel. Everything functionally around monetization and advertisement is handled by the MCN right now. When they can't do that anymore because YouTube decided to change the terms, because YouTube now requires you to be part of the YouTube Partner Program, they're in breach. The MCN can't require you to enter into a second contract with a third-party YouTube in order for them to be able to fulfill their end of the contract. Things have changed between YouTube and the MCNs. Nothing has changed between you and the MCN. Your contract is exactly what it was the day you signed up. You don't have to join the YouTube Partner Program. You have the right, as an independently functioning channel, as an independent business person, to say, I don't want to be in a contract with YouTube. They can't require you to enter into contracts with other parties and say, it's your fault if we can't monetize. That said, 
That is exactly what they're going to tell you. But if you want to get out of your contract with your MCN, if you're locked into some three-year thing and they're taking 30-40% off the top and you really shouldn't have gotten into it and you realize that now they were just taking advantage of you, they were preying on you, as most MCNs do, we see your work, we love your work, we'd love to have you in our network. And that's all a lie. You're just a number to them. More channels in the revenue, it doesn't matter how much money you make or don't make, you know. It's just another person who's going to be trickling in some pennies and it doesn't hurt us any to sign you up, so come on board. This is what they do, and they do target you. They do recruit. They send people out trying to find people when they're just getting, oh, he's got 500 views, oh, he's got 1,000 viewers. And then they check their database. Is he, uh, is he in with another MCN? No, he's not. Ooh, I'll send him an email and make him feel special, and then I'll get him locked into a three year agreement where we take half of his money. By and large, that is the business model of MCNs, and some of them are more legitimate than others, and some of them are more scammy than others, but at the end of the day, they're just a numbers business. They get in the middle so that they can take something off of your top. If you're happy with your MCN and they're doing good things for you, that's great. And this is, does not apply to you. And I'm not saying all MCNs are bad or all MCNs are evil. I'm just saying all MCNs are out to make money off of you. It's not in their business model to help you grow. And if you signed up with them thinking, they're going to help me grow, and then they haven't, and now you're in a contract for three years and 30%, here's how you get out. You don't agree to that blue bar above your dashboard. And the day that that blue bar turns what will probably be red, you come over here in your dashboard to channel. And it's either going to be on the status and features page or the monetization page. I'm not sure because I've just left my MCN and so it's not here anymore. But you'll have an unlink network button. And you click that. And that's going to send a request to your MCN to unlink. And it, YouTube won't unlink until your MCN agrees. Simultaneously, you need to open a support ticket with your MCN saying, Hey, hey, did you see what Deborah was wearing over by the water cooler? Oh my... <clears throat> Yes, hello. Uh, I've just been notified by YouTube that I am no longer able to monetize any of my videos on the service. And you're the one in charge of monetization and ad revenue, so it looks like you're in breach of contract. I've just requested to be unlinked from the network. Thanks, I, I really didn't enjoy working with you. I'll, I'll be leaving now. Oh, no, no, no. There seems to be some confusion. You just need to sign up to the new YouTube partner program terms. There should have been a blue bar above your videos. I'm sorry, you should have gotten an email from us about that. Yeah, just just click that button, sign up to those terms, and everything will keep going the way that it, the way that it usually does. Thanks. And that's what you should expect them to say. That is exactly what they're going to say. And it's okay. You just need to go back and forth with them a little bit. Yeah, see, the thing is, I'm not actually legally obliged to enter into secondary contracts with third parties in order to make it easier for you to continue fulfilling your end of our contract. You are in breach of the contract as you can no longer provide the service. So I'm leaving. Go, go ahead and unlink my channel. I'm sorry you feel that way. We here at Insert MCN Name are not in breach of your contract and pride ourselves on blah 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 blah. Simply click on the blue button and piss off. God, what a jerk this guy is. You probably have to go back and forth with this guy a number of times in order to get this done, but if you're persistent, you can get out of this contract. And for those of you who have already clicked that little blue button and are now regretting it because I'm suggesting that maybe you can get out of a contract you don't want to be in, Contact YouTube. Tell them I want to exit the YouTube Partner Program. There's no reason why you can't. Your agreement with the MCN is still functioning. And then you'll get that little blue bar again, and you can wait until the day that it goes away. You don't have to enter into a third-party contract in order to keep the one that's already working valid. That's not on you. If the MCN and YouTube can't coordinate to do what they've been doing until now, then that is on your MCN, and you can walk away. It'll get done if you're persistent, because you've got a damn good argument. They need to be able to monetize your video, or what is their function in this contract anymore? While you're fighting with them, your channel's content is going to be demonetized. You're not going to make a dime off of anything in that period where you have to go to war with support. But, if you really want out, this is it. This is the moment. I'm not even kidding. And some people in the comments may want to try and argue, no, the MCN is only technically blah, 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 blah. 
I've looked at the contract terms of my MCN, I've looked at the contract terms of the YouTube Partner Program, and I've looked at what a court of law would look at, which is how does this agreement actually function? In addition to the terms, how does it function? The way that it functions is the MCN is responsible for monetizing your content through YouTube, collects the revenue directly from YouTube, and then hands it back to you. You are a content creator. You produce the goods, they sell the goods, they market the goods, and through their agreement with YouTube, they monetize the goods. When they can't do that anymore, peace. Knowing how many people have been screwed by MCNs that come in when you're just up and coming and give you a little bit of attention and make you feel special and then lock you into a ridiculous contract where they take a ridiculous amount of money and you can't leave it for years and years and years and years, I think it would be great if the YouTube partner program and MCN merger resulted in a mass exodus of people from their crappy contracts from these spurious MCNs. It would also be kind of the just dessert for all the MCNs who just signed off on what YouTube handed them in that little pamphlet and asked us all to sign up. We didn't sign up. We caught you in the loophole that's gonna let us get out of our contracts. I'm no longer with Curse. I am an independent operator. I'm just in the YouTube partner program and I don't know how that's going to play out for me. Uh, Curse is no longer going to get 10% off the top, but I'm also not going to be getting their targeted advertising toward my channel. I'm not able to use um, unskippable ads through the AdSense interface, so there are changes here. But this is your chance. If you want out, get out. You should be out. Screw MCNs. Except for full screen, who may or may not, you know, be decent. I'm not sure yet. They're breaking the contract this time, and they're not going to do that every day. Get out. Get out while you can, if you want to. If you're happy with your MCN, you like your agreement, this doesn't apply to you. The 96% of you who this does apply to, get out. Feel free to join the YouTube Partner Program. It's not going to hurt you. If you want to stay with your MCN, cool. If you want to get out of your MCN, then use this to get out. And also, YouTube, you're a bunch of pricks. Quit screwing with my view counts. Fix your system. Why is it that every other day uh, the analytics are telling me, oh, the statistics are broken for December 4th? Fix this thing. How do you break it every day? You run in a giant thin millions, hundreds of millions. Oh my god. On out. Oh,